are currently inside biomedical engineering grab at IPRC Kigari, whereby engineers are trying to locally produce ventilators. These ventilators could help the patients suffering from COVID-19 to get oxygen as the, as the coronavirus continues to ravage the world, including Rwanda. Thank you so much. My name is Joseph. I'm a lecturer in this IPS Figari, especially in the Department of Electrical Engineering. And then also there is a program which is called Biomedical Equipment Technology, it means I'm teaching staff in that program. As you know, nowadays you are challenged by the COVID-19. The idea came about the end of March. And then uh, after seeing what is happening all over the world, we saw that there is a very big challenge for the patient which is having that issue to breathe. And then uh, in the medical field, there is uh, an equipment which is called a ventilator, which will help the patient for briefing. And then as an engineer, actually I'm good in the programming. And then I sat and then I said, uh, how am I going to make an equipment which can help someone to breathe? There is no an idea like that what came out. Now we are on uh, the day number eight. We started in the last week, Sunday. And then uh, last week, Sunday, I was collecting materials, means uh, targeting to develop an equipment. Then on Monday morning, we started. Then we used to do something like uh, 18 hours per day. And then yesterday itself, we came out with the final uh, equipment. We called uh, some professors from universities in the health uh, field to come and verify the equipment. Now we have equipment which can work even for, uh, uh, which can help patients to breathe. Means it is an equipment which is working like normal ventilators. Thank you very much. I'm uh, Professor Stephen Durisa from University of Rwanda. And I'm a researcher, so and a clinician, uh, taking care of patients at the uh, University Teaching Hospital of Kigali. Um, Part of me that got involved here is, of course, as a part of uh, Rwandan community, we always want to see what we can contribute. So as a clinician, we worked with engineers, and uh, what I usually do is challenge them with questions, like we need ventilators or any clinical question that we have. So we, we come here, challenge engineers, give them ideas, and they work on them. So and then after they put it together, what we do is come and test as a researcher to test if uh, the ventilators they did can simulate the real clinical scenarios and really behave like any normal ventilator. So we've been working for a week and now I think they have a very good product comparable to any other uh, ventilator that we have in, the, in our hospitals. So what we did today was bring in mannequins, simulate the patient's lungs and calculate if it can really deliver um, a normal or standard oxygen therapy that is needed to a patient who cannot breathe by themselves. And we wanted to see if it can really simulate it spontaneously, simulating normal breathing. So what we bring to them is the clinical part of it, is the medical part of it on top of uh, their expertise as engineers. So that's what I have been uh, working with them. Actually, this is from, uh, for achieving this achievement, we are uh, in four. Uh, myself, I'm coming from electric engineering. Uh, I am the one who made uh, the programming side. Means uh, how to make, uh, how to control the amount that is available inside based on the requirement for the user. And then there was someone from biomedical engineering. Means who knows how basically the equipment is working. There was also some other one which was coming from uh, uh, plumbing. Means how to connect pipes. Then there was also someone who was coming from uh, machine tools to make the structure. This uh, uh, ventilator you see that is perfectly working, they have done it uh, in eight days. And that uh, included coding, that included writing all the codes, putting them in, building the body, assemble them together and make sure it can work. And then we test it between yesterday and today. And now going forward, they can even make 10 ventilators in a week, more or less. So this is what we're working on. Of course, we were, today we're testing and advising slightly more 
um, uh, pieces to, to adjust to really suit our clinical needs and it is perfectly working. So going forward, after they, they, they say they can improve that within two days, so you can have a perfect model within two days. What we are aiming at now is making sure that they can do two types of ventilators. One is the one in the hospital for patients on the bed, but we're also encouraging them to make uh, uh, ventilators that can go in an ambulance, which is portable ones. So that is what they are doing. And then they are also working on the half-life of the battery. We have uh, a backup battery that is built inside that can also be used if, even if you don't have electricity. The battery we have so far, they can, it can last for 10 hours. So testing in our country, for example, you can drive from Changugu to Nyagatari. So which is good enough. If they have a built-in battery of 10 hours, you can have time to go where there's electricity and charge, which is much, much better than the ones we have on the market already. Basically, the equipment works like uh, other equipment uh, which are imported. And then from the last news, we heard that now ventilators are needed, but they are not found because uh, those big companies, they have, uh, how can I say, they have some orders from other big countries. Means if you want to order like uh, a ventilator from Rwanda, it will take something like three months without having the equipment. Our equipment, it is made by material is available locally, and then it is also low cost. Now the equipment which can be imported can go around to 20,000 US dollars, but this one can go around only 2,000 by using local materials. Taking the product to the market, that one is another step. Uh, you see now we are staffs, teaching staffs, means we are on the engineering field. Uh, but you know, taking a product to the market, it requires some other approval. But as you know, you saw there is some professor from different uh, uh, teaching hospitals, means they can confirm how the equipment is working. And then it will go maybe to the top management for the institution, then from that uh, go to the Minister of Education. Then together with the Minister of Health, they can come out with an idea of putting the equipment in the market. We have very few ventilators, I don't know precise numbers, but they are a huge shortage. Now, that has always been the thing, but um, now we did not push to the extreme our scientists to think a little bit harder so that we can solve the challenging problems that we have. What I can tell you is that our engineers and our scientists, they are as good as anyone in the world. So there's no reason at all why we doubt our engineers, our scientists, to do what anyone in the world can do. So I have no doubt at all that uh, these guys can really do a very good job.